Talking Deliver Us, and this is co-directed, co-written, and starring Lee Roy Kunz, and is a religious kind of end of the world uh, antichrist movie. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the plot. So it focuses on this priest, uh, played by Kunz, who is um, a priest who wants to kind of retire from priesthood because he is, um, you know, he wants to marry this woman and kind of have children with her, etc. So he wants to kind of be a good Christian, but not be in the kind of the priesthood, so to speak. However, he is, um, before he can do that, he is sent to this kind of convent where this nun has a pregnant with twin boys. Uh, that are immaculate conceptions. So they believe that this is kind of both the new Messiah and the Antichrist as kind of as twins. And he's basically kind of set there to investigate, but there appears to be a whole big conspiracy with the church who kind of, you know, or aspects of the church who don't want this to happen. And there may well be some kind of like um, other elements here that kind of want to kill both or one of the children. And ultimately, it's kind of like this kind of uh, this this nun who goes on the run with this kind of priest to try and save both these children. But forces are colluding to uh, kill either both or one of the uh, these children um, who may or may not be manipulating uh, the adults around them, you know, with the power of kind of suggestion and stuff and uh, religious fervor. So what will happen, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. So, let's discuss. So, I'm always a little nervous when I have a project that is, kind of has one person behind it. So, so Leroy Kunz, as I said, you know, directed, um, written, stars, and I probably produced. And it's, I think, oh man, the problem is here, it's normally one person's kind of vision and, um, I feel sometimes you need to have uh, a, a second opinion pushing back. And, you know, I've quite often said in reviews that, you know, this the, the person who is in charge is very much, you know, knows what the vision they want to kind of execute, what they're going to put out there. But it's sometimes when you look at it in the cold light of day, as someone who's not connected to it, it doesn't quite look the same. And I think that's true of this movie. However, there is a lot of good stuff on display here. So... One thing that is abundantly apparent here is the um, the kind of the art direction and the production design here. This movie does look incredibly well shot, and you know it's not an art house film, but it kind of has a very kind of artistic style to it, uh, with some beautifully photographed kind of sequences that really um, you know use the kind of the natural environment to kind of like. Uh, plus the kind of the sequences having great kind of like compositions and kind of like uh, uh, you know juxtapositions against kind of the wilderness against man and things like this so it, it really does have um, fantastic cinematography great use of kind of like you know backgrounds and kind of foreground shadow lighting to give a very very kind of like atmospheric and very well shot film so it looks fantastic I think the actual kind of setup is extremely strong. We have a great and, and probably the most gory sequence in the movie right at the beginning of the beginning. It kind of sets a tone for what promises to be a, uh, you know, an interesting kind of religious horror movie. And, you know, even after that, even before we get this, you know, we get the, that first scene, which is particularly kind of like uh, violent. The actual setup where we have this, this nun who is seemingly having these kind of like um, you know these these two babies, which may may or may not be uh, both of them, the next Messiah and the Antichrist, and this priest is kind of sent there uh, by the kind of the Vatican to try and you know ascertain what's actually kind of going on. A very very interesting kind of uh, setup here. Um, you know that it was you know I was intrigued to see where this kind of story was going to go. I think the acting is uh, pretty good. Um, I think. Cuns here. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to do in regards to like promote himself. If that makes sense. He comes across. I have to be honest with you. As a little bit, he looks like a kind of like budget Jared Leto, and um, I don't know if I was completely buying him as a priest. If I'm if I'm completely honest, but I don't think the acting was necessarily bad. 
But he looks a little bit too kind of like, um, like he's kind of like modelled up is the best way I would describe it. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't want to say necessarily a vanity project, but it, I, I don't know if the, the best idea would have been to cast himself. But the acting isn't, isn't bad, I, I would say. So, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty good acting. You'll see a, recogni a couple of recognisable names here. Thomas Kretschmann, for example. Uh, you'll see uh, a Game of Thrones alum in this as well. So the acting is, is strong, and the, the general kind of, like, direction of narrative is strong. But therein lies the problem. I think the, you know, the movie sets up for an interesting premise. But it really kind of meanders uh, and ends up being very convoluted on the way. There's, um, you know, there's actually a line towards the end of the movie about, um, you know, you just have to kind of trust what's going on or something like that. And it's just like, well, that's kind of how this movie feels. Like, you don't, you don't really know what's going on, but you're just kind of watching it and thinking, eh, I, I kind of vaguely know the direction of travel we're going here. But the kind of the minutiae of what's happening with these kind of, you know, these subplots of these different characters in the movie, in the movie, you're thinking, I don't really know what is meant to be happening here. We seem to have, like, transitions from one location to the next without kind of really any kind of explanation. Um, there seems to be too many t instances where we have, you know, a dream that someone's waking up from and then it's like, was it a dream or was it reality? It's like, you can get away with that once, but you do it like three times more or more, it ends up being silly and, and a trope. And the movie just, I feel, loses its direction as the kind of the film progresses. Um, there's, there's illogical issues here. Thomas Kretschmann's character seems to kind of... Uh, be able to kind of like know things. I don't want to spoil anything for you, but he seems to be able to teleport. He seems to be able to kind of know exactly where people will be at certain times and things. And there's other kind of elements here that I felt were were a little bit plot holy. Again, I don't I don't want to um, necessarily spoil the actual kind of the narrative, but the narrative is confused. If I'm honest, I also think the movie is a little long, and considering how confused the narrative actually is. I think this could have been edited down to be a more coherent film um, and, you know, a little bit more of a punchy film because it, it just feels kind of like it's treading water for uh, for a good while. Once we kind of get past the setup, really the first act, or the, the next, the second and third act, I, I gotta say, are muddled, uh, to say the least. There are good things in it, um, the, 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 but it's kind of a, a, a muddled film. Also, the movie, the movie never really has that kind of that strong horror element that it has in the beginning again. Um, and to be honest with you, we, we have that sort of sequence. I still really don't understand the relevance of it, the, the opening sequence. Um, so it's kind of like a, a, a muddled movie. And as I say, when we have these kind of like films that tend to have like one person being the kind of the controlling force this is where you need producers who will push back and, and, and kind of from a business angle and say look i understand your uh, creative you know decision where you want to go but you have to think about a film like this on a commercial level and and think about how people are going to respond to it who you know haven't been sat there writing it and know where the kind of the film is going because to an outside viewer it seems muddled. So it feels like a bit of a wasted opportunity to me. Um, it seems like it has a, a lot of superfluous elements within the film. Uh, B storylines that simply didn't need to be there. Elements that are introduced like this kind of like, this kind of chaos that's kind of, that it seems to be emanating from, uh, you know, the, the situation at hand with the kind of the populace at large and stuff. Things are never really explored. It's kind of introduced and then we kind of don't feel like we're gonna go anywhere with it. So it ends up being um, a very good looking film and has some interesting elements, but ultimately the execution of the idea here is it fails quite hard. Um, but it's still worth a watch if you don't mind a somewhat confused but good looking film. I'll give it a five out of 10. Have you seen it? Please do let me know what you think and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.